Hey everyone, Henry Yellow here. Uh, I'm here to give you an update. I'm going to watch a movie right after I give you this update. I feel like I need to clarify some things about the aftermath of the shingles because it may explain some of my possible behaviors as I am reacting to movies in the future. So um, regarding the shingles, I'm already 90% recovered by now, which is great. Uh, the only problem is I still have to follow a strict diet, at least for the next week or so. So it's the same thing, no chicken, uh, no eggs, no stuff. Basically, it's like being a vegan, except I also can't eat any type of nuts or butter or peanut butter or, you know, just a lot of restrictions. If you've noticed, I have changed my glasses. These are new glasses. I had to get new ones because uh, the shingles affected my eye. So how did I find out about this? It's because I started feeling discomfort when I was wearing my free previous glasses. And so I went to my optometrist uh, to do an eye checkup. And well, my unaffected eye, still the same, no problems, but the affected eye right here, it took some damage from the shingles infection. And let me show you something which I feel is pretty interesting. This is my eye under some kind of special lighting. Uh, you can see these little like stains, like stains or scars on the eye. So basically, uh, my optometrist said that this is very likely caused by the shingles infection. And what this does to me is that um, it gives me blurred vision because this thing is literally at the outer layer. So it it's like me looking through a stained glass kind of thing. So to give you um, a picture of how I see things with this eye, okay. For example, uh, you can see this text right here and it's it's clear, everything's okay. And this is how I see it with my good eye. And then this is how I see it with the injured eye, even with the proper lens, like even with the most optimal lens, I still see like a, a slight blurriness like this. So it's giving me a little bit of discomfort because it's weird to have one eye that is so crisp and clear and another eye that's seeing everything just with a little blur. So sometimes I, f I get confused because if my injured eye like becomes dominant, like takes over for a bit and everything just blurs out for a while. So I have to like really focus to uh, make sure everything is clear again. In the future, if I'm watching any uh, movies and you see me like do something with my eye or narrow down my eyes, it's because I'm trying to refocus the eye, make sure my good eye takes over uh, the, the vision. This thing uh, is what my optometrist calls corneal staining. So the right eye has superficial scar. I don't know how long it's going to take to recover. My optometrist said that there is a good chance it may recover over time, but he didn't want to say it promisingly. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Maybe it will recover, maybe not. But according to Google, corneal staining supposedly should recover within a week. I'm not sure. I feel like I've had this for almost a week already. I just... I'm just hoping for the best and hope that my vision can come back uh, to be clear again. So that's the first thing, the damage to the eye. And the second thing is as I'm recovering, there's this itchiness on my face and my eye. So I, it's, it's always really tempting for me to scratch it. But no matter how much I scratch or no matter where I scratch, the itchiness is just not resolved. I don't even know where it's itching. It's just itching, but wherever I scratch, I can't scratch the itch. So sometimes if you see me like start scratching or like really wincing my eye here, it's because I'm trying to relieve the itchiness a little bit. So if I look 
kind of weird during my movie reactions, the next few movie reactions, then you know what's going on. So yeah, I think that about covers it for my little update here. It's just a little clarification so you will know if you see any slightly weird behaviors in my next few reactions, you know why that's the case. Well then, right now I'm going to watch Brief Encounter from 1945, uh, and then uh, the video will be out pretty soon on Patreon, so look forward to it.